Hello guys, welcome back to NF Thin Spot. For today's video, we are going to show you Fire Vase versus Super Vase. Which one is better for you? So if you're interested, let's get started. So you're trying to decide between Fire Vase and Super Vase here. So in this case, for your apps backend. So both are actually great options here, but they serve different needs. So in this case, let's start with Fire Vase. Now, Firebase, so if you want something that just works out of the box, then Firebase is going to be a solid choice here. It's backed by Google and comes with a bunch of built-in tools to handle data storage, authentication, and cloud function, and even analytics without needing to manage your own servers. Now, for the data storage here, Firestore's and real-time database, Firebase gives you two NoSQL database. So that includes Firestore. So in this case, it's more flexible, good for structured data. While real-time database here, which is built for uh, for real-time syncing, which is great for uh, chat apps and live updates. Now, the big downside here is since Firebase is NoSQL and can run uh, can't run SQL queries to easily fetch uh, complex data here. You often need workarounds in your code, which can get a bit messy here as your app grows um, in size. Now, also they uh, they're serverless, so in this case, uh, they have serverless functions and backend logic. So one of the Firebase biggest strengths here is the cloud functions. So this lets you run backend code without setting up your own server. So in this case, you need to send uh, need to send a notification when user signs up. So Firebase does that automatically. Now, because it's part of Google's ecosystem, Firebase gives you detailed analytics on your users. So what devices they use and, and how they, they navigate your app. In, in this case, which is a huge, uh, something huge for actual growth. Now, for your pricing here, Firebase starts free. But once your app scales, pricing can become unpredictable. It charges based on how much data your app needs and writes. So if your app gets popular, your cost could also skyrocket. Just keep that in mind. Now, next is we have Superbase. Now, if you're comfortable with SQL and want more control, but Superbase is a fantastic choice here. Now, unlike Firebase, it uses po uh, post, uh, PostgreSQL, a powerful relation database here. That means you can run complex queries easily, something Firebase struggles with. Now, with Superbase, you can do things like find top 10 users who spend the most money in one SQL query. Now you can join multiple tables without needing complicated workarounds. And that's a big advantage here if your app needs structured and structured data and deep analytics. Now one catch here is Superbase doesn't have built-in serverless functions like Firebase, but it can integrate it with AWS Lambda or uh, Versal functions, so it's still flexible. Now, also unlike Firebase here, Superbase doesn't include analytics. So you have to use external tools like Google Analytics or Mix uh, Panel or not. In this case, still not a, a deal breaker here, but something that you need to keep in mind here when you're building your app. Now, also one of Superbase's biggest advantage here is pricing is more predictable. So there's a generous free tier here and even paid plans are more stable compared to Firebase pay as you go model. Now, another thing here is Superbase is open source. So if you want full control, you can self-host it, which is a way cheaper in the long run compared to Firebase cloud services. Now, you might be wondering which one should you use here. It actually depends on what you need. So go with Firebase if you want an easy to use, fully managed backend, and also if you need the real-time syncing and want want to uh, if you want the built-in serverless functions and analytics, and if you don't mind paying for uh, convenience. Now, choose Superbase here if you prefer relational databases, uh, and also if you need SQL queries for complex data, and want an open source self-hosted option. And also if you want more cost, uh, cost control here. But still, both platforms are good, and we just need to make sure that you are using the correct platform here. So just um, see what you need or what platform you prefer. But in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.